Happy New Year and welcome to the Chinese Community Church. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him. Good morning and Happy New Year. Have you watched the stars in the sky lately? Did you see the unusual sight of the lining up of Jupiter, Saturn, and the moon? Let me show you a couple of pictures. These pictures are sent to us by a friend uh, in Texas. And this is really a very unusual sight. Well, 
the year 2020 is finally behind us. And we hope this will be a happier and healthier year. And I hope this unusual sight is a sign for a better new year. Now, I already told you that I always like the Christmas carol at the 12 days of Christmas. So counting from December 25th, the 12 days of Christmas will be Wednesday, January the 6th. And that will be the day of Epiphany, the day of uh, the visitation of the Magi. Now, the King James Version translate the Latin word magi to kings. Other versions just call them wise men. About 2000 years ago, there was also an unusual sight in the sky. The magi saw a guiding star and they followed it to find Jesus. When I was a little boy, I used to play one of the kings in the Christmas pageant. We all ended up in the stable worshiping the newborn baby Jesus, along with the uh, shepherd and the animals. Now I know I need to buy, I need to read the Bible more carefully and, and change the script to get the story right. How many Magi visited Jesus? The quick answer is three, but we're not quite sure. The Bible only mentions three gifts, and that could come from any number of people. In fact, the Eastern Orthodox churches would believe that there were as many of 12. Okay, there, there's an English hymn also singing, we three kings from Orient are, <laughs> but the song did not base on any historical research. Who were the Magi? The translation of King James Version assumed the Magi were kings because they uh, came to visit the newborn king. But why would the kings neglect their royal duty and travel afar for months and years to visit a newborn king? Uh, you may say they want to foster goodwill for future diplomacy. But if, we, if that was the case, they would have gone to Rome. Israel was just a small country controlled by the mighty Roman Empire. Where did they come from? What was the purpose of their visit? Now the Bible only tells us that they were from the East. Most people assume that they came from Persia. That's today's Iran and Iraq. If that was true, it would only take them a couple of weeks the most to get to Judea. Why did Herod order to kill all the boys under two years old? They must be coming from a much farther distance. Now, would that be as far as China? Let's see what's going on in the ancient world when Jesus was born. The Roman emperor, Caesar Augustus ordered a census in 6 BC. And that was the reason Joseph and Mary went to Bethlehem to register. King Herod died in 4 BC. And Jesus therefore must be born in 6 BC. Scholars already affirmed that a mistake was made when they were creating the calendar. The mightiest power in the West was of course the Roman Empire. Egypt and Israel were Rome's client kingdoms. Greek culture dominated the Western world. On the other hand, the most advanced country in the East was China. In the year 206 BC to 9 AD, China was in Han Dynasty. Han Dynasty was the strongest dynasty in Chinese history. The Han culture and technology were way ahead of other countries in the West, in the East. 
China was so called because the country make the best porcelain China in the world. But the Chinese people always called their country the Central Kingdom. They call themselves Han people, and their language Han language, Han Yan, Han Yu. They would call a hero a good Han, Ho Han. I have visited Korea and Vietnam, and found both countries were deeply influenced by the Han culture. The capital of Korea, Seoul, used to be called Han City, until it was changed recently for national pride. The river in Seoul is still called Han River. The palaces and temples in the old capital of Vietnam were built like those in China. Like Caesar Augustus, the Han Emperor also ordered a census to control the subject and collect taxes. The Han government controlled the production of salt, iron, and tools. Ways and measure were standardized. The seal and spice routes were established. China dominated trading with the Roman world. China exported silk, gold, lacquerware, and porcelain. In exchange, China imported wine, spices, fruits, and dates. China also brought pistachio nuts from Persia, frankincense and myrrh from Arabian Peninsula, and glass bottles from Egypt. Both frankincense and myrrh are resin extracted from trees in Ethiopia, Yemen, and Oman. They were used for incense, perfume, and medicine. Now I have seen them in the market of Oman. The price is more reasonable now, but I was told that it was expensive in the old days. The Chinese used myrrh for medicine. In the Bible, people burn frankincense in offerings and use myrrh to embalm the body of Jesus. China was the most advanced country in astronomy in the East. Scholars used different equipments to observe the stars and reform the calendar. The emperor used astronomy and the calendar to justify his heavenly endorsement to his authority to rule the kingdom. He was called the son of heaven. Is it possible that the Magi came from China? What was their motivation for the long trip? Now, after the first emperor of the previous Qin dynasty, uh, he's, after he centralized the, the country, he wanted to live forever. He commissioned many wise men of astronomy and medicine to find a potion or a way to eternal life. The practice continued in Han dynasty. Some traveled east to Japan and others went west to the Roman world to research and to find the formula and ingredients for eternal life. When the guiding star appeared 2000 years ago, the people who would notice it would be the Chinese stargazers. And if the wise men were Chinese, they were motivated by the yearning for eternal life. Their mission was to find a secret of eternal life for the emperor. When they saw the guiding star, they believed our newborn king was born. And this newborn king would be uh, the son of heaven also. There's such a special bright light in the sky. The, the baby must have a special status. He may have the secret of eternal life. So they start their searching on a long and arduous journey through the desert. 
they didn't know where to go. They didn't have a GPS. They could only follow the star. Well, the logical thing for them to look for the baby would be in Rome. The Roman emperor claimed himself that he was a god and demand his subject to worship him. But the star led them to Judea, not Rome. Well, that should be okay, they thought. The Jews were, sp were spiritual people. They claimed to be God's chosen people. They have been saying their kings were anointed by God. And the newborn king might have a special connection with God. So they went to Herod in, Ju in Jerusalem uh, to ask for directions. And they asked, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? After they were sent to Bethlehem, they saw the star again. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary. Uh, please know that it was the house, not the stable. It was the child, a child almost two years old, not the newborn baby. Now something must happen to those wise men. They, 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 they bow down and worship Jesus. They submitted to Jesus for the hope of getting eternal life. Then they opened their treasures and present Jesus with gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, according to the Chinese custom, you must bring a gift when you visit someone. Gold was the prized metal from China, and they must have brought frankincense and myrrh on their way to Judea. They were getting those perhaps uh, thing to bring back to make medicine. Anyway, I'm still not sure where the Magi really come from. There's not enough data to prove my imagination yet. But it doesn't matter. What we want today is to learn from them. Today is the first Sunday of 2021. We want to focus on hope for the new year. No matter where did the Magi come from, they taught us a valuable lesson. Hope is yearning, searching, and submitting. Hope is yearning, searching, and submitting. The year 2020 is tough, but thank God it's over. Hope is on the horizon. What is our hope and how do we turn our hope to reality. I cannot speak for you, but I hope for health on earth and true news searched by all. Health on earth and true news searched by all. The two big problems in our country and the whole world, COVID-19 has changed everything in our life. It changed the way we work, it's the way we school our kids and the way we worship. When can we get back to normal life? The other problem is that we have been led to distrust everything from news organizations to social media. We keep getting conflicting biased news. We don't know what to believe. We need the wisdom to know the difference between the truth and fake news. What can we do? The Magi show us three steps, yearning, searching, and submitting. The yearning to overcome the pandemic is widely shared. The searching has been intense and swift. The vaccine will soon be available to everyone. What we need now is to submit to the authority of the science. We submit to the recommendation to get the shots and submit to the recommendations of keep wearing masks, 
keeping a social distance and washing hands often. We are also yearning for authentic news reporting. We need to do the hard work in searching for the truth. When in doubt, find out the political background and financial back backing of the news organization to determine whether it is fair or biased. Make some fact checking to find out the credibility of the organization. Develop critical thinking and clear our blind spots. Our hope is to find some trustworthy news organizations and regain our trust in the news, the true news. And there is an ultimate lesson we must learn from the Magi today. The Magi were yearning and searching for eternal life. If they were coming from China, they have to travel more than 4,000 miles to find Jesus. Do we have the same passion to find Jesus today? Well, we really don't have to travel too far. We can search for the true God in the comfort of home. Jesus is ready to be your Lord and Savior. What you need to do is to submit to him. In the past two Sundays, we learned from Mary that love is honor, courage, commitment. And Joseph told us that faith is trust, kindness, and maturity. And today, the Magi showed us hope is yearning, searching, and submitting. From these Christmas characters, we learn about faith hope and love in just three short weeks. Thank you for your attention. Like the Magi, we should ask the question, where is newborn king? Unlike the Magi, we should know that the newborn king is not just for the, for the Jews. It's, he is the king for the whole world. He is Jesus, the Christ, our Lord and Savior. He is here. He will live in your hearts if you have room for him. If you are not yet a Christian, I invite you to submit to Jesus and welcome him to be your Lord and Savior. Open your heart and let him in. May God help you and may God help you and make you experience his grace this year. May the Lord save you and bless you for an abundant life on earth and eternal life in heaven. If you are already a Christian, may the Lord become your king and bless you and your family. The new hope of health and truth is on the way. Praise be to God. Amen. As we begin the new year, let us ask God to give us a new beginning in life. Please join me in a personal confession. Let us pray. Jesus, our Savior, please forgive my sins. Forgive the sins I can remember and the sins I have forgotten. Forgive the wrong actions I have committed and the right actions I have omitted. Forgive the times I have been weak in the face of temptation and those when I have been stubborn in the face of correction. Forgive the times I'm proud of my achievement and those when I fail to glorify your work. Forgive the harsh judgment that I have made for others and the leniency I have shown to myself. Forgive the lies I have told others and the truth I have avoided. Forgive the pain I have caused others and the indulgence I have shown to myself. Jesus, have pity on me and make me whole. 
Amen. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven and we are made whole again. Let us bow our heads again for the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. On January 1st, a new set of new officers were installed for the church. The church have a new hope. And we ask you to support them and may God bless our church. Amen. Please gather your elements for communion. As we begin the new year, let us be reminded that Christmas is the beginning of God's salvation act. Three years on earth as in his ministry, Jesus finally come to a point that he had to give his life to save the sins of all mankind. At the last supper, he was having his a meal with the disciples First, he took the bread, he gave thanks to God, and then he broke it and said, this is my body broken for you. You take this bread as often as you can in remembrance of me. In the same manner, Jesus took the cup, he gave thanks to God and said, this is my blood. This is the seal of the new covenant. You drink of it as often as you can in remembrance of me. We thank God for his salvation. We thank Jesus for coming to our world to save mankind. Today, we give ourselves and submit ourselves to Christ as his disciples. Let us take this bread and drink this cup to remember Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you for giving us Jesus Christ. We are so grateful for his salvation. You so love us so that you come to us and you gave us your only son. Whosoever believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Come and live in our hearts again, O Lord. Strengthen us and open the door for us. Bless us with this beautiful day and this wonderful year and help us to be your witness. Help us to be faithful as your disciples. In Jesus' name, amen.
Good morning, officers elect of the Chinese Community Church. You have come to show your commitment to serve our church in response to God's calling. The congregation has cast their vote of confidence on you according to the bylaws. I will install you to your office in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord strengthen your faith, hope, and love. May the Lord be glorified by your service in the church and in the community. Amen. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit gives them. There are different ways of serving, but the same God is served. The different gifts required for the ministry in our church but the same God gives the ability to each of you. The body of Christ has many parts. If one part of the body suffers, the whole body feels the pain. If one part of the body is praised, all the parts share the happiness. Our church is the body of Christ and each of us is a part of the body. Members of the Chinese Community Church, you have cast your vote for the new officers and they have accepted God's call to serve among us. I am really pleased to introduce the co-moderators Emma Ham and Ellen Lee and they will present the other officers. Emma. Thank you. Officers, please give a quick wave when your name is called so that the viewers can see you. I have the pleasure of introducing the Board of Deacons and the Board of Christian Education. The deacons are Darren Chalk, uh, Hawa Kwan, David Said, Donna Lee, and Mae McLean. Those serving on Christian Education are Artie Lowe and Cheryl Sherman. Now I'm going to turn it over to Alan to introduce the other officers. The board of trustee consists of the following six members. Philo, Kathy Ma, Gary Osumi, Doug Hamaguchi, Mini Lee, and Milton Lowe. Secretary, Margie Hamaguchi. Treasurer, Sharon Wong. Financial Secretary, Mei Jing Chen. And the two members at large, Devin Chin Lee and Lin Lo. Thank you. Now we'll ask all the officers to confirm their commitment to God and the congregation. Sisters and brothers, God has called you for a particular task in this church. Having considered your duties in prayer, are you ready to serve in your office? So help you God. If yes, please raise your right hand and say, yes, I am. I am. Yes, I am. I am. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Do you promise to exercise your ministry diligently and faithfully, showing forth the love of Christ for the glory of God. If yes, raise your right hand and say, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. By the authority of God and trusted in me as a minister, I hereby install you to your office in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
members of the Chinese Community Church. By casting your positive vote, you have shown your support to the Liu leaders. They have been installed as an officer to our church. Pray for them, support them, and work together with them that we may have a united and faithful church. Let us pray. Eternal God, you have called this, your servants to serve you in this household of faith. Send your Holy Spirit on them that they may serve among us with honor and faithfulness. Help them in their duties that your church may grow in the direction you intend for us. Guide them in their leadership that they will be worthy for us to follow. Unite our hearts in one accord and help us to work together to glorify you. In your holy name we pray, amen. amen. Now go in peace and serve the Lord. So I just wanna say a few words to thank everybody. It's been a daunting and unimaginable year you know, inside the church and outside as well. You know, we have a lot of hard work ahead of us, but Al and I are confident that we can turn the page on 2020 if we work together and help each other under the Lord's guidance. So thank you to all the officers who are stepping up this year, the staff and the volunteers as well, like the front office, the praise team, the choir, the music leaders, the tech team, the care committee, the reopen committee, ladies guild, the neighborhood Bible study groups, Mandarin ministry, janitorial, and everybody else who's stepped up to help us out this year. Last but not least, the leadership can only be successful with the support of the congregation. So we look forward to seeing everybody sometime, hopefully in 2021. We look forward to the time when we can gather and worship together. So thank you again and happy new year to everybody. I simply come Longing just to bring Something that's worth That will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song For a song in itself it's not what you have required You search much deeper within Through the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it when it's all about you. All about you, Jesus. King of endless words. King of endless words No one could express How much you deserve No one we can afford All I have is yours Every single breath I'll bring you more than It's not what you have required You search much deeper within Through the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you about you, Jesus. 
I'm sorry, Lord, for the 